Ang blog ni Presidential Communications Assistant Secretary Moka Uson ang isa sa pinag-usapan kanina sa pagdinig ng Senado ukol sa mga umunay paggalat ng mga fake news. Nasa mahigit limang milyon na ang likers at followers niya. Pero dahil sa ilang mga maling post niya, nadadamay na raw ang PCOO. Have you ever considered uh, perhaps that this is a conflict of interest and it should be shut down, sir? I've spoken to Moka about it. Uh, Uh, Madam Chair, and uh, we have also spoken about uh, her freedom of expression and also her way of, um, of speaking on her own uh, Facebook page. And I have uh, called her out a few times, and uh, she has also taken down uh, a few of her <coughs> remarks. Dun sa presentation ni Uh, Ms. Reza, she pointed to Asik Moka as one of the reasons or one of the purveyors of uh, you know, uh, fake news in the country. So, bilang boss ho niya sa PCO, ano pong masasabi po ninyo? If we judge PCO based on Moka's blog, I think it's also unfair for the thousands of workers of uh, government media. The Moka blog does not represent PCO. Dahil may posisyon na raw si Uson sa gobyerno, mas may malaking responsibilidad at pananagutan na ito sa bayan. Assistant Secretary uh, Moka Uson has a specific market to serve and she is serving that market well as far as the official Presidential Communications Operations Office platforms are are uh, concerned. And anong particular market? At sabihin mo sa akin kung hindi niya ito magagawa bilang isang pribadong mamamayan at hindi at hindi kawani ng gobyerno. The OFWs and uh, the class uh, CDE. Uh, the number two, I also believe that um, she has to be accountable to the law. Kung ano man ang sabihin, uh, she is hindi naman siya exempted. Wala si Uson kanina sa pagdinig. Nasa France siya kasama si Foreign Affairs Secretary Alan Peter Cayetano. Sinusubukan pa ng GMA News na kunin ang kanyang panig. Bukod sa blog ni Assistant Secretary Uson, naosisa rin sa pagdinig ang Pinoy ako blog ni Jover Lorio na isa sa mga pinakaaktibong kritiko online ng administrasyon. Sa pagdinig, ipinakita ni Secretary Andanar ang ilang post sa blog ni Lorio. Madam Chair, Madam... Pero, pwede pa-explain natin kay muna sila Secretary Andanar kung paano naging fake news yung pinopost nila. Siguro bago siya sumagot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sag Bongo... Hindi lang selfie king. Ang pagkasulat kasi niyan ay very malicious, mame. Eh. Uh, that's very malicious. Pakialamero din. So anong ibig sabihin nito? Anong uh, gustong ipahiwatig uh, ni Miss Jover sa sambayanan? And of course, let us also take into consideration that these types of posts, ito yung nag na ng mga hate messages eh. It, ito mga posts na ganito eh. But it's not fake news. It's a hate post. Hate post. Hate post. Hate post and it could be fake news. <laughs> Sa kanyang opening statement, sinabi ni Maria Reza ng Rappler na isang global issue ang fenomenon ng fake news. Tinukoy niya ang isang pag-aaral tungkol sa tinatawag na patriotic trolling o ang umano'y state-sponsored online hate and harassment campaign. They studied 65 countries around the world and found that in 30 of the 65 countries that social media provided cheap armies to potential authoritarian and dictators to control and manipulate public opinion. Isa sa pinag-aaralan ng Senado kung dapat bang magkaroon ng batas laban sa mga nagpapakalat ng fake news o maling impormasyon na sadyang kinakalat. Pero sabi ng ilang media organization, sapat na ang batas gaya ng libel at cybercrime law. Ang hindi raw malinaw sa ngayon ang responsibilidad ng mga nagbabahagi ng impormasyon sa social media. Kaya ang gusto sana ni Senador Manny Pacquiao dapat lisensyahan ng mga blogger para kilala ng gobyerno kung sino ang nagsusulat. Bagay na inalmahan ng ilang blogger at resource persons dahil panghihimasok na raw ito sa freedom of speech at expression. Pag uh, hindi naka-register yan, madadama yung mga mabubuting intensyon. Mamadadama yun dun sa mga vloggers na, alam mo yung ibig sabihin, uh, yung mga gumagawa lang ng masama, may mga nagtatago sa ibang pangalan.
may mga may mga ganun kasi kaya para sa akin mas mabuti ipa i-register na lang lahat ng mga vloggers total alam nyo ito ah I don't know if uh, they're paying taxes kasi gumikita din naman yung mga vloggers. But I think during the Philippine Revolution, uh, our own national heroes engaged in anonymous speech or pseudonymous speech. In other words, they wrote under pseudonyms. Uh, importante po yon. Importante yung uh, karapatan ng isang tao na makapagsulat, ma-express yung sarili niya, uh, nang hindi nalalaman ng kanyang identity. Maraming issue po yun eh. Uh, at... It's practically asking for the impossible if you want to control bloggers or those who make use of the internet. The reason why some people uh, hindi sila lumalabas is because of the bashers and the hate messages. You need to have a strong stomach for it. Ayon sa blogger na si Tonyo Cruz, mainam din daw na magkaroon ng social media guidelines ang mga political establishment. Walang mga pamantayan yung ating mga opisina at mga opisyal tungkol sa social media. Pwedeng dun magsimula eh. Nangangako ang ating pamahala ng pagbabago. So simula natin, dapat hindi, dapat transparent, dapat accountable. Sa gitna naman ng pagdinig kanina, inakusahan ni Ellen Tordesillas ng Vera Files si Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte na umunay number one source ng fake news. And the worrisome part of this is that most of the sources of, in of this information is being perpetrated by the by government officials on taxpayers' money. And um, and the number one source of fake news as because um, is the President Duterte himself. I, I, I do respect okay, Ma'am Ellen ahead. as a journalist, pero pag sinabi niya pong uh, si President po yung source ng falsehood, na generalize masyado yung inyong sinasabi ay uh, hindi naman din ako papayag na na ganun-ganun lang. Hindi pa rin humarap si Coco Idayaw na umunay nasa likod ng Silent No More blog, kaya pinapasabina na siya. Nagsorry naman kay Pacquiao si PCOO Undersecretary Lorraine Badoy. Nilabas kasi nito sa kanyang Facebook account noong panahon ng kampanya ang bahay daw na umunay kalaguyo ni Pacquiao na itinanggi ng senador. Pinicture mo yung bahay ng... ng, ng uh, in, in, ng tao ko and then sabi mo this is the house of the mistress of Manny Pacquiao ganyan and I'm a Christian and like that and a lot of things but uh, anyway uh, I forgive you but I want you to to say sorry to, im sorry to in front of me I think I owe you an apology because I did hurt you and I'm very sorry but how were you able to come up with that assumption that that particular structure belongs to the mistress of because it's a village where the so magtataho and uh, so that was my, your uh, your source and the guards and the that sort of thing but but now you know it's it's not true so yeah which okay. is why i i i've apologized to the good senator okay. jam sesante gma news